Greetings, everyone. Thank you for tuning in for this weekend message with me. Please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like a personal, that information is listed in the description of this video. For those who are new here, I am a psychic medium. Um, so I do not use any cards or any tools when it comes to your personal readings. Um, as shown in live readings here in YouTube, uh, past live readings. Also, you could catch me today on Saturdays. I'll be live at two, um, between one and two for, uh, Q and A's questions and answers. If you want a question and answer, you could definitely tune in. If you want to just come in and see for yourself, you could definitely do that. Um, also I do games. Um, I'm getting back in tune with the Saturdays and Wednesdays. So, uh, the more the merrier, the more games I'll provide as well. So definitely tune in for that. Uh, Wednesdays is between seven and 8 PM Eastern time. So, um, yeah, tune in for Q and A's on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I will be, uh, providing individual Zodiac messages again, um, like the olden days <laughs> but uh that may start up next week since i wasn't able to get it this week get it done this week i am going to at least provide a weekend message okay all right you guys let's tap in let's see what's going on for each zodiac sign this weekend spirit please show us a message for aries and i'll time stamp it in the comments below Show us a message for Aries. A weekend message for Aries spirit. Um, I'm more like it. Aries. What is the message for Aries for this weekend? Um, September 14th and September 15th. Let's get a message for Aries. Weekend message spirit. Weekend. Aries, Aries, Queen of Swords, what else for Aries, the sun, all right, so you could be receiving good news, a, a good communication today, something you're wanting, okay, there could be some, something making you happy, all right, you could be conflicted due to a choice, though, huh, Maybe like, okay, should you go, should you not, or should you attend some type of function? Um, it looked like no. They're saying, uh, or you're deciding more of no, the two of swords to the three of cups. This could be like friends gathering or something like that. Um, yeah. So, wait, let's get more on the sun. The sun. What is this about? Show us more on the sun for this weekend. We have justice. Good news. This could be legal. Okay, so maybe, um, hmm. Your intuition is telling you that something is going to play out in your favor. It's going to work itself out. It's going to work out exactly how you either think it's going to work out or it's just going to work out for the best. Like, you're you're keeping a positive outlook on this situation. Whatever this is that you, that's, uh that's been on your mind you could be receiving some type of communication about this this weekend or just recently received it this could be possibly friday or um or you got good news coming up this following week but there's definitely communication coming in that's going to make you happy i feel like something is bringing you clarity like uh it's bringing balance into your life maybe once upon a time you thought this situation was um out of control or you didn't understand it, it was definitely an imbalance but now looking at things it looked like okay i see where this is going i see why this is happening i see i see so it's a lot of um um clarity wrapped around a situation that's bringing you justice um you could be thinking about just spending time with family or just uh i don't know it just seemed like you choosing to walk away from like maybe you was partying or you or that lifestyle. If you're not partying, it's like ah, uh, yeah, it's like walking away. Eight of Cups from the three of uh, three of Cups and that Two of Swords. So it's like you're walking away from that. Like ah, uh, that's Two of Swords. It's like I'm blocking that out of my life now. It's like something like that. Maybe you're not feeling feeling it anymore. So you're choosing to isolate yourself from that type of crowd, that type of situation. Okay, um, 
But yeah, for the most part, this is a long message for your weekend, Aries. Jeez. But yeah, you got good news. You could uh you could be happy due to communication with someone. Um, there could be good news coming in, possibly about a child. Someone could be a Libra, or you could be dealing with a Libra. Let me get one more for Aries. Yeah, this is a situation where you feel like you could put in a time and effort with whatever this is, whatever this this communication is, it's like okay. I could put time and effort into that. Like you, you're wanting to invest in whatever this is. Yeah, whatever this is, it's like long term. And now you know that this is this is it, or this is um a wish fulfillment for you. Things could be slowly changing, but they're changing. It's changing for the better. All right, uh, Aries, let's move on to Taurus. Weekend message. What is the message for Taurus, Bear? Please show us a message for Taurus. 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 What is it for Taurus? Let's see. Weekend message, Bear, please show us. What is the message for Taurus at this time? Uh, September 14th and September 15th. Let's get a message for Taurus. All right, Taurus, you have the temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or Sagittarius. Uh, you may have Sagittarius placements. Hmm. Uh, they want you to have more patience, okay, when it comes to some type of legal situation. Hmm. Someone also could be finding out that someone is being locked up. Okay. Someone is being locked up. I don't necessarily feel like this is you. Um, if this is you, it could be, but I'm getting more of another energy. It could be a Sagittarius, it could be a cancer, or someone in this energy, something surrounding this energy, okay? It, it could be um physically locked up, going to jail, or this could be locked up. As in spiritually, especially with the temperance here and the eight of swords. Um, let's get one more on the king of swords. Ooh, this could be spiritual. Someone could be um, being mentally locked up spiritually because of why. Why is this happening for someone? Some of you, it could be you. For some of you, it could be a fire sign. We have Sagittarius. We have Taurus here. So, I don't know. Place it however it go for you. But the higher-ups, um, the one, the number one uno, okay, the one above said, uh, this has to come to an end. Something has to give. And whatever this is, I don't know what they did to you, but they didn't do right. Yeah, seven of swords. <laughs> seven of swords, this person, um, I don't know, they tried to control things, control a matter. Uh, maybe this could be a pertaining to a child maybe you share a child with this person or for some of you this person tried to get away with something okay whatever this is they try to get away with it but it looked like they've been caught and the shackles is on now this actually could be bringing good news to you you could be happy about this because it's like something is being freed to you. This could be just your freedom. Like, okay, you don't feel like you're stuck anymore because it was the energy that was holding on to you. For some of you, this could be freedom because maybe someone was holding on to some type of finances. But now it has to be given. Like the sun and the six of pentacles. It's like someone wanted total control. This was their uh, deception. This was what they were trying to get away with. Um, this is definitely someone that you have known. You may share children with or known this person for the past, for known this person for some time. For some of you, you could be married to this person. For some of you, it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or for some of you, they could have these placements. They don't necessarily have to be their sun sign. So regardless, the energy is here. So pay attention to the energy, not so much of the sign. But for some of you, the sign is right on. It's you, is that person. If you don't know they chart, then you, you may not know that they could possibly have that particular sign as their major sign. Whether, uh, whether it's their rising, their moon, their Venus, um, could even be their Mercury, uh, especially with this energy of communication. I feel like um, 
something is being balanced out for you because something was unfair. Someone treated you unfairly. Someone did you wrong. Someone did you dirty. So it, here go your justice. Your justice is coming through. Basically, um, you're being protected from this energy and they're being binded from you because they were trying to bind you or bind something from you. <laughs> and look how the cookie crumbles. Moving on. Wow, the devil. Yeah, they was trying to have total control. This is that energy. That is that total control. Yeah, but it's over with. Okay, moving on to, um, that was Taurus, uh, Gemini. Weekend message spirit, please show us a message for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, what is it? What is it for G Gemini? All right. Gemini, if y'all didn't catch it, I'll be live at 2 o'clock p.m. for Q&As, questions and answers, and also games. So tune in over there for a question and answer or to play the game to get a, a question and answer for a donation, okay? Let's see, Gemini Spirit. I thought it turned over, but I guess not. Let it come out for Gemini. What is the message for Gemini? Gemini, we have Eight of Swords in Reverse. That's good. What else for Gemini? So you feel free. Maybe you are feeling caged in. Something is, you feel like you're, you're having a peace of mind now. Judgment, a renewal. So something is changing here where it's a new beginning. You may feel like it's a new beginning. It's like, uh, whatever this was, you could have felt insecure about a situation like dang do i have enough will i be able to do this on my own will i be able to whatever this was it's like you came into um you came into something or you just figured it out like you know what i'll be okay um you're keeping it all balanced right now or you figured out a balance or this weekend you're about to figure out a balance or they're telling you to do that because that's how you're going to free yourself from this mental trap of questioning yourself over and over. Is this good? Is this good enough? Am I doing, a, you know, will this work out if I do X, Y, Z, you know, but it definitely looked like a balance is coming in for you. Um... Something you're holding on for dear life is definitely going to come to a close. So say, for instance, you're holding, you're holding on to some money. And you're like, no, I can't spend it because I need to spend it on that. And time go on, you never spend it on that. And you just hold on to that. You hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on to, that, to it. Well, that tower is going to come in. That tower is going to bring in uh, the moment where you have to spend it. But that's your test. Like, this test is needed for you to understand that um, holding on to it too tightly can definitely hinder more coming in. So, you got to have, you have to figure out a balance where you can give a little in, you know, and realize that you're going to receive. You're going to receive it after you give. So, someone is figuring this out or that's what you need to figure out, okay? Balancing your money. Figuring out how you could give in, you know, give and take versus just holding on and just taking and holding on to it. Figure out how to... Um, keep that balance or how to invest in that and you know so it can continue to um be in and out you know uh but yeah like i said it's something that's going to end with that situation if you're not uh if you're not figuring out the concept of money okay how to balance your money all right moving on to Cancer, Cancer, Spirit, please show us a message for Cancer. Cancer, I will be live today at 2 o'clock p.m. I'm just reiterating that because some of y'all just skipped to y'all zodiac sign. <laughs> but for those um, who do not have your notification bell on, definitely turn it on so you can be notified when I go live and you can get a question answered um for today saturday i'll be live on saturdays and wednesdays now back to the normal and individual messages will start going out next week for each zodiac sign cancer spirit what is the message whoa all right cancer hmm you're dissatisfied you're disappointed you're walking away from something you're deciding to move on for something is this in secret it's like you're secretly doing this. You're not telling anyone. You're like, I'm just going to walk away. Let me see more on the moon. The moon for cancer, which is 
your energy. In tarot, it's Pisces, but I look at it and how I read um, and how my spirits guide me. Um, the moon is Cancer and Pisces energy because actually Cancer energy is moon, moon child. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but anyways, it looks like you're deciding to walk away from a situation and become single or just do something on your own. This don't necessarily have to be single due to a romantic relationship. This could be single from a group. This could be single from, uh, you know, working together with someone and you decided, nah, I'd be better off on my own or, I, you know, I feel like this is not it. Something is, you're dissatisfied with something, so you're deciding to leave something behind. Let's get more on the Eight of Cups. What is this Cancer wanting to walk away from or leave behind? So this could be over the weekend. Um, some plan, something that you were planning on doing, you're like, mm, I'm just going to walk away from that. Show us one more on the three of wands. Three of wands. Yeah, it's not really saying, it's just saying you're walking away. You're leaving something behind because you realize walking away from a situation is going to bring you more peace. Um, whatever it was that you are holding on to or planning to continue or planning to do, you came to some type of realization that, you know, it would be best for you to just leave it alone or leave this situation alone, leave this person alone because it's bringing you peace by doing that. Peace could be due to your health. Peace could be due to your mind. Peace could be due to your finances. However, this is that peace will be restored. And this is what someone is realizing, like holding on to something that is not doing anything, you know, but could be causing some type of emotions. Um, mm. Yeah. It, because I feel like uh, maybe it's hard for you to walk away from it or you, you had a hard time. Maybe this, this could have been going on for some time. You had a hard time with just letting something go. It could have been because of love, because you love someone or because you, you hope that, you know, things would change or whatever. But um, I guess over time you realize, like, I'm holding on for nothing. It's no change. So I must find my peace again. So this is what someone is doing. Six of Swords, you're finding your peace again. You're moving from turmoil. You're moving to find your, your peace again, find that calmness. Because um, whatever this is, it's definitely an unsettled situation. And it was not bringing you that peace. So, yeah. I feel like this is the best choice for you, especially with you coming out as the Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who's very abundant. Um, this is someone who's very self-sufficient, who's uh, independent and not... Um, depending on this situation anymore or this person or this whatever this is it's like okay I'm gonna do this on my own because I feel like at least then you know there's no worries <laughs> um take it however it resonate but they're advising also with the moon being there it would be best for you to just you know keep whatever you're trying to do just do it in secret or you know it don't it, or if you have that special person to confide in, do that. But for the most part, with the moon, it's like, shh, just move in silence, okay? Moving on to uh, Leo. Weekend message for Leo. Leo, what is the message for Leo? All right, Leo, I'll be live for Q&As at 2 o'clock p.m. today, Saturday, Eastern Time. Um, so if you want a question to answer, definitely tune in. Stick around for games if you want to get a game or win a game to get a question to answer for a donation of your choice. Okay, um, let's see a message for Leo. Next week, I'll be providing individual Zodiac messages like I did in the past. Show us a message for Leo. 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 All right, Leo, you have a page of pentacles. What else? Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, if not, you could have Virgo placements or they could have Virgo placements. Uh, for some of you, this is uh, just a new start in a project, um, a business opportunity or something. This offer could be given to you or your offer. You could be offering this to someone. I feel like someone is wanting to offer you this, but it's like maybe they haven't done it yet. So you could have like a secret admirer that's admiring you or want to work with you. Yeah, I feel like you have a secret admirer here. Uh huh. For some of you, this could be your child, your children looking up to you. They admire you. Um. 
I feel like someone, okay. Someone also wants to apologize someone for the betrayal. Because someone could have betrayed you or you betrayed someone. It's, and it was, in, it was hidden. It was in secret. But it looked like... Um, yeah, it's like someone want to come back together after it ended. Something ended. Someone sees someone in a new light. The Tower, Six of Swords. Yeah, someone moved on to Peace of Common Waters. I feel like someone forgave someone without saying, I forgive you. You know, it's like once the person, someone's, someone secretly did something to betray someone in this message. Or this could be going on this weekend, however. Or this could be past or future energy. But um, the energy here is basically saying like someone could have betrayed someone and did it in secret. Like... Um, you know, very mischievous, very, uh, deceitful energy. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, trying to get over on someone, but the other person knew, you know, because someone is very intuitive. That's that moon energy here. Someone intuitive and know exactly who did what. And whoever this person is that realized who did what is releasing their energy and moving on in their life. And they're moving in a di direction where someone didn't think that they would change in this way so it looked like someone is gaining their peace their um their peace from moving on from chaotic energy or, or whatever and now the other person is wanting to like it could be some changes within this person who did the betrayal and now they're realizing they're wrong in a situation and they want to make things right um they want to apologize to you or you to them take it however it resonate yeah someone want a passion new beginning because someone felt left out in the cold here five of pentacles some of you you could be dealing with a gemini um a sagittarius libra pisces cancer scorpio masculine energy um is here as well but however it looked like uh someone woke up and got the heck on from a situation and realized who was doing what and after moving on to this peace and karma water, someone is realizing, look, me holding on to that, uh, to that betrayal is not, hurt, is not hurt. I mean, it's not helping me. So I need to let go of that. And that's the six of swords move. Once they moved on, like I got to leave all that, all that behind, leave that tower behind me. Um, so I'm gonna forgive that person for what they did, for who they are. I'm gonna forgive them, but you know, I won't forget you know, but I, I will forgive them because it's for my peace. And that's what someone is doing or that is what someone needs to do. Okay. All right. Moving on to, uh, that was Leo. Virgo. Virgo weekend message spirit. Please show us a message for Virgo. Virgo weekend message. What is it? Virgo. Show us a message for Virgo. 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 <laughs> if it want to come out. Virgo. Hey, Virgo. I will be live for Q&As. And, um, I mean, at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time today. I am bringing back Saturdays and Wednesdays here in YouTube for Q&A. So, you can definitely tune in for that. Um, I will be providing games as well. The more the merrier, more people come, then I will provide games again. I know I'm just not getting this back, back up and started. So, um, mm, Virgo. But yeah, so uh, tune in at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time um, on Saturdays. And between 7, 7 and 8 on Wednesday nights. Okay? Um, Eastern Time. So, and I'll be providing individual Zodiac messages next week. Uh, this week I couldn't, so I decided to give y'all at least this weekend message. Um, I'm just reiterating everything because I know y'all be skipping to the next. To y'all Zodiac signs and not listening to the intro. <laughs> well, some people do. All right, but Virgo, what to what to what is going on here? Is mm 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 you need to block this devil this negative energy here that for, that's for sure that's what you're ch choosing to do you're deciding to do it could be a capricorn a scorpio it's just like you it's no getting through or it's just um 
or this person is blocking you. Take it however. But the Ten of Cups here and the King of Wands. I feel like here you could you you could be very loved and supported by many, um, due to your bold leadership skills or just you standing your ground. What a situation. Or this is what this is how. This is how either others are viewing you or how you're viewing someone. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's get more on this King of Wands for Virgo this weekend message. Yeah, you're coming out of grief, sorrow, sadness. Um, I feel like the clouds are lifted now. Like you're coming out of the dark cloud. Um, things are brightening up for you. You could be happy, content with family, friends. Um this weekend or going into the next week i feel happy joyful energy surrounding you um you have a clear uh direction here you know exactly what you want to do you feel very ambitious at this time or this is where you got it to okay yeah it's like a renewal a second chance with something or are you like whew, like you just just like you had a bad day yesterday you took you went to sleep and you woke up refreshed that's what i'm getting like this is a brand new day and it is a brand new day. That's You have to make it that way. But yeah, it looked like good. It looked like happiness is coming out of a situation. You letting go of grief, sadness, regret, you know, all that is being released. Possibly due to maybe your negative thoughts, you know, that ended. You could have been in this uh, real negative energy, um, hateful energy towards someone or towards people. And you realize that's not doing nothing but deteriorating you, you know, hindering you. So you realize you have to let go of that. Um, or this is the energy that was trying to come against you. Take it however it resonates. But it looked like uh, you could be coming into connection or just happy with a fire sign. Masculine male energy. Uh, or this masculine could be coming out of their sadness and grief over a situation possibly and want to share this love and happiness with you, okay? Um, it's like someone is missing a family dynamic, whether this is romantic, family and children, or this is just family, your bloodline, you know, just having that love, that support, not necessarily bloodlines, just, you know, feeling that love, that support with friends and family, um, you could be opening up to that now. Maybe you are in the sadness where, you know, you didn't want to be bothered, but now you feel uplifted and you want to see everybody and everybody want to see you. Um, something like that is going on. It's definitely a transition due to your emotions at this time, which is a good outcome. It's bringing in happiness instead of sadness. So that's a good thing. Moving on to Libra. Weekend message. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Okay, someone name could be Walter, Walter, or someone may need some water. Okay, um, but Libra, weekend message. Libra, I'll be live for Q and A's, questions and answers today at two o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Definitely tune in over there for a question to be answered. I will be providing games for for those. Definitely, if if it's if everybody show up and you stick around, we could definitely get some games in and you could just purchase uh based on whatever you choose to purchase that's it. whatever donation you want to give you could do that with the games all right but definitely tune in for q a's on saturdays and on wednesday saturdays at two o'clock p.m eastern time wednesdays at between seven and eight o'clock p.m eastern time all right libra spirit please show us a message for libra and i'll be providing um a weekly uh, individual zodiac sign again like i did in the past that will be coming back um q what someone name is quincy i'm hearing quincy or someone name could start with a q okay show us um some more on this energy um you do mm. what's going on here libra I feel like someone is emotionally depleted someone is tired like it's like i just give up i'm just tired like not giving up on everything but just like maybe you're just having a, a tiring day you're so busy taking care of everybody else and it's like you look up like dang not so much of well, who gonna take care of me maybe you do feel like that but i'm getting more like you just like dang i'm taking care of everybody else i just need some time to myself so, this could be occurring this weekend or this is coming up. 
for some of you, I just feel like you need to um you need to get grounded, okay? Um water when water came up, that could be what you need at this time. You need water to ground yourself. Um so if it's raining out, go outside in the rain. Let that rain drench you, especially when it's pouring down. Um the little drops that ain't good enough. You need rain. <laughs> you need water. Um, or, you know, or even sound childish, but it's not. It's actually grounding yourself, going outside, playing in the rain, or going outside, uh, putting your feet in the dirt, especially if you have red dirt, depending on where, what lo location you are. You know, if you're down south, then you got red dirt, mostly. So put your feet in, in the dirt you know, um, to ground yourself. When it's raining, play in it like it's <laughs> play in the mud. I don't know. But guess what? It's, it's charging you. It's charging, it's charging your energy. So th these are some things that you just need to do. If you haven't done it, if it sounds crazy, well, guess what? Your energy going to be off for the rest of your life. But these are some things that I'm suggesting you, that spirit is suggesting you for it to even come out in this message. Some of you, you could just shower, but I feel like earthly rain um is definitely more it's, it's a lot more stronger um but you can cleanse just by taking a shower you could take a cleansing bath as well um there are some ways that you can uh do that too to make it more powerful um tune in or you can um become a member in my patreon to for for uh messages like that but for this they're providing me to give this particular message to you so i'm giving it to you um, everything else, you know, apparently spirit is stopping me because those are certain messages for certain individuals, you know, so it's not every, that's not every one message, but this one is a general, this is something that you can do. Anyone that's watching this, you're a Libra, you're going through this energy right now. Your energy is depleted. You feel kind of melancholy. You don't feel like yourself. You feel like, um, drained. You may feel drained. Um, that's what you need to do. For some of you, you've been over drinking or you had too much, uh, or you just haven't been, uh, taking care of your, yourself as much. Um, like you've been taking care of everybody else. This could be you eating, um, or drinking the proper fluids, um, throughout the day, eating the proper foods or whatever. You, you something you, ha you've been off. Okay. You've been off. This is the energy of being off. Um, you could have been overindulging in something that's not good for you. It could be your favorite food, but knowing darn well that favorite food is not for you or is not is is not healthy to eat it that often. It's something you're overindulging in. Maybe it could just be within a day like yesterday you had you drink, you had uh some type of um maybe alcohol and you drink too much or this could be something else that you overindulge in. Whatever it is, your body is screaming right now. Like, help, <laughs> I need energy, <laughs> or I need, I need to, yeah, I need to recharge, or I need to flush out, whatever this is, okay? Let's get one more for Libra. 333 three, three could be significant for you. I just got 3303. Oh, Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's just time. You can't even put any more energy in no one else right now, Libra, until you focus on you. You have to focus on you. You don't have nothing left. You can't support nobody else right now. It could be family problems. Why? Because your energy is off. You feel dysfunction because your energy is off. You're upset because your energy is off. You're not happy because your energy is off. It's like you're lacking emotional connection with others, even with yourself, because your energy is off. Get grounded, Libra. This is what they're telling you, okay? Someone could be dealing with the Aries. We have the Emperor here. Woo, three of swords, the devil. Woo, what's going on with this energy? It's like someone want to walk away, like free themselves from this energy. Maybe this person, this energy is surrounding you and it's depleting you, okay? Whoever this is, this could be a father. This could be um, just someone that's toxic or they keep doing the same thing over and over again and you just like, ugh. This could be a father figure. This could be a child's father. This could be, um, or someone who just likes control. This could be a mother. You know, it don't necessarily, but they could be in the emperor energy. But it's next to the devil energy. That's not good. It's just like over controlling, overbearing. And someone could be like overdoing it. Could be over partying or just hanging. Like something, something is off. Well, the spirit is telling you what you need to do. Focus on you. All right, moving on to Scorpio. Scorpio. 
we get message spirit please show us a message for scorpio what is the message for scorpio this weekend scorpio scorpio let's see scorpio six of wands scorpio what else what else i've seen the tower but it flipped back over so something could be shocking unexpected this could be due to you just receiving success okay we have the six of wands here did i say the t six of wands i meant to say the top i don't know what i said but anyway you have good okay you have the six of wands and a star here hmm i feel like something is definitely being paid off or um you definitely have victory you have some type of achievement success going on here with the six of wands in the star the star is um you whatever you're doing is being well recognized this energy is is saying like others are seeing what you're doing and it's well liked it's well supported you have praise you have um approval here we have Aquarius energy, Leo energy. Yes, yeah, six of pentacles, give and take, a balance is, is here. Okay, your your energy is being reciprocated. Like those are, this is healing energy. So you could be a healer or you're healing, you're healing and you're, you're continuing to succeed at something. And others are seeing this and they're like, wow, you know, due to what you have, have experienced, what you have been through, there is definitely, um, growth with the like it's like you're changing and people are seeing this um the six of pentacles i definitely feel like um people are wanting to give to you maybe you are this could, you could be like uh selling something or you could be uh whatever you do is like you have people that um it's like I feel like a, there's a trust there's a, there's an energy here where people are seeing that your business they can trust this business or they can they can rely on whatever it is that you're given or they know this will be a good a good exchange or something like that this is what's going on here so if you're working this weekend great it looks good it definitely looks good um the tempers here yes things are being balanced out it's peace and harmony here um but there's also hmm here we go. Why we got to go there, Spirit? Show us more on the Ten of Swords. Someone is trying to attack you or betray you. Show us more on the Ten of Swords. This could be an ex-lover or something. Let's get more on the Ten of Swords. No, you know what I'm getting here? I feel like here with the Ten of Swords, there's an ending. So you've been hurt. You've been hurt. You went through it, okay? Several, several, several times. This Ten of Swords is like, you. this is how, this is why everyone is seeing you in a star and the Six of Wands energy, Six of Pentacles. You know, they're, they're seeing you as healing from all this pain that you have to endure, that you went through. But you continue to stand strong. You continue to... Uh, to 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 achieve your goals you would you continue to reach for the success you continue to uh progress and with that this could be also pertaining to like your heart because you're pure it's like purity here with the ace of uh cups here someone could be dealing with someone who initial or your initial could be a m or a w uh there is a ending to the betrayal it's done. You have an angel here that has been assisting you, healing you, helping you heal throughout this process. So whatever was done to you is no coming. Like it's, it's, it's done. You're healing. You're receiving the proper love. It's genuine love. Someone. So this could be going into a love situation. Maybe your love situation could have been interrupted because of betrayal um, from the past. But it looked like things are develop it in the right place like if you're going in the right direction and some of you could be um um going from single to in a relationship or make it a commitment to someone or someone to you like yeah it's definitely seen vice versa um there's love here okay also but i'm getting i'm also getting you guys
Some of you don't. Okay, this is a message as well. Especially with the Ten of Swords. Okay. This energy here is giving me like, you want this purity, this pure love so much. You want this love. You want this unrequited love. You want this genuine love. You want this love where, you know, you can actually give your love. Because Scorpio's love. And when you love, you love hard. Okay? You love to a f You love. All right? I'm, I'm a Scorpio. So I know. But this message here is specifically for someone individually, whoever this is for. Um, you may give too much of you. And maybe this could be your fear. But you could give too much of you. And, and it's just because you're, you're longing to feel a void. And this void is pertaining to your love. Um, and you may give too much of you where you're depleting yourself. Depleting yourself from luxury or um, someone also could be living beyond their means and losing a lot because of love or something like that. Someone needs to hold on to their money or hold on to saving. Stop giving so much. Show us more. Show us more. Someone could be dealing with a cancer or someone is... For a lot of you, you're about to go into a relationship. That was the main message. The the one that I just gave, that's for slim amount of you, but take it however it resonates. A lot of you, it's like love is coming in. That Ten of Cups is coming in, and it could be coming in fast, um, especially with the Chariot before the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Wands after the Ten of Cups. It's coming, okay? Um... Yeah, look at that. That's that unconditional love that you're looking for, that you're wanting. Yeah, with the Page of Swords, that's what you're wanting. You're watching, you're wanting this, or this person is wanting this with you. Take it however it resonates. Someone could have Leo in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in their chart, Sagittarius in their chart, um, Aquarius in their chart. Uh, we also have Vir Virgo here, but... I feel like you have a successful outcome coming in for you in love. This could be with a partner. This could be with someone this weekend, partnering up with someone this weekend. But, um, yeah, they're telling you you can invest in this. Okay. So, for some of you, you're in two, some of y'all in different places in this situation. Everyone is not in the same boat. But, um, I do know that some of you could be putting a lot on yourself. When it comes to uh, your finances and love. And they really want you to just continue putting time into something. You're going to get what you want. For some of you, it's time to walk away from a project or some type of financial situation and go to another. So if you've been, whoever this message is for, if you've been trying to figure out, okay, should I stay here or should I walk away and move into another job? Go toward, towards the other job. That's for those who have another job in mind. Like, it's already in play. You just have the major foot, or you already working it, but you're not putting your all into it because you're invested in something else. What that something else is something you've been debating on walking away from. Spirit is saying, walk away. Go towards this newness. Whatever, whatever you started up and it's fresh is going to evolve into the king of pentacles. For some of you, this is a relationship. Whereas you could be dealing with someone in a page of pentacles. And... You, maybe your mind is so wrapped around like maybe you're giving, giving, giving. But this is, is growing, is growing into the king of pentacles. So you're going to walk away. I mean, this person is m walking away or moving on up. That's what I'm getting, moving on up. So, or this is you, you're moving on up. It's definitely growth. Nine of pentacles to the page of pentacles to the king of pentacles. Wait a minute. Six of pentacles to the seven of pentacles to the nine of pentacles to the... To the page of pentacles to the king. It's nothing but growth coming through this message here. But also, Scorpio, I do feel like due to you just being a Scorpio, don't over don't overgive yourself if it's not reciprocated. Okay? Because the reciprocation is here. They're saying, look, it gotta be a give and take. I give to you, you give to me. I give to you, you give to me. Not expecting, but that's just how it should be if it's genuine. Okay.
And that's with anyone, not just a lover, but friends, relatives, whoever. Um, moving on to and it don't please it don't have to be from that person reciprocation could be like because you don't want to ever give and expect that person to give back you want to give because if you're giving from the kindness of your heart you're giving based on your feelings okay i'm gonna give to you i'm not expecting nothing back is what it is you know do what you want with it but do expect like if you give into someone and you're constantly being depleted every time you give to this person that's a sign that's a sign that you need to stop giving to that person or you need to stop giving to that situation whatever that is because you should be replenished. You should feel um, it should be an energy exchange. So if you give to a situation or a, or a person, for example, and then you get blessed elsewhere. Something else come in for you elsewhere. That's your blessing with that situation. So it's blessings coming in. But if you're giving to someone or a situation and you're constantly seeing that your money decreasing and or you having issues or like it's problems, that's a sign. You're giving to the wrong entity. You're giving to the wrong energy. You're giving to the wrong person. Okay. All right, moving on to Sagittarius spirit. Sagittarius daily message. What is it, Sagittarius? I will be live at 2 o'clock p.m. for Q&As. Definitely tune in if you want a question answered. For Saturdays and Wednesdays, it'll be between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Show us a message. All right, Sagittarius, you have the five, five of Pentacles. Why? You have the Five of Pentacles to the Six of Wands. Okay, show us more with the Five of Pentacles to the Six of Wands. Four. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, yes. All right, so this Five of Pentacles is giving me like, you could have been, why I just, I just heard shun. Okay, maybe people shun you, okay? Like, they didn't feel like you are good enough for, for their business or for whatever the heck. But um, it's like you're being pushed out of a situation. This could be a financial, this could be a job. This could be a job. Maybe you got fired, they just let you go, whatever the case. This depleted you financially. You um, it will cause some type of lack in your world. Now, for some of you, this is not the case. It's just like um, maybe you feel left out just from others. Maybe this could be at the job that you work at. You feel like other people, everybody is just leaving you out or whatever the case. But this is actually your victory. This is a good thing. You don't want to be included with them. You don't want to have anything to do with them. Because you have a new beginning coming in. And that new beginning is only for you. Not for everybody else. Now, that's a message. Now, for some of you also, you could have lost big time financially. Um, but what you don't see is walking right into victory and success because that needed to you needed to go bankrupt you needed to be financially uh, depleted you needed to be spiritually bankrupt you needed to go through this so you could spiritually grow because something happened where you weren't um something had you plateau like you was not moving up it had you at a standstill so spirit had to break you or take from you in order to gain you know, in order to, for you to grow, in order for you to see, like, why you weren't moving, why things were, you know, or why you were constantly going backwards versus forwards. So this needed to happen in order to bring in this victory and success, this Ace of Pentacles, this new opportunity, uh, uh, this prosperous new beginning, basically. Um, a gift. A gift is coming in. A gift could be due to your finances this could be a new job a raise uh some type of financial opportunity is bringing in blessings okay but you needed to go through the fall you needed to fall in order to pick yourself back up moving on to capricorn capricorn let's see spirit show us a message for capricorn this weekend capricorn Capricorn, Capricorn, I will be live at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on Saturdays, which is today, and Wednesdays between 7 and 8 p.m. Um, Eastern Time. 
So if you want a question, answer, you could definitely tune in. Um, definitely stick around towards the end because I will be providing games. Um, yeah, so tune in. Now, Capricorn, you have the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Wands in reverse. Huh, you're trying to figure out a decision. You're trying to make up your mind here. You're trying to balance something out. Maybe your money, money pertaining to a home. If this is about a home, this is shaky. This is a shaky foundation with the four of wands being in reverse. So if you're trying to figure it out with it, that, that I mean, it's already figured out. Are you overlooking it? It's like you're trying to keep something balanced where it's no balance. No, no matter which way you try to balance it out, it's like it's no balance. It's just like putting a brick on a scale and a leaf. <laughs> Where are you going to get the balance? Like, it's no balance. It's not going to balance with this situation. Let me get one more. Yes. No, this is one more. Walk away. Walk away. It's time to leave a situation behind because it's not balanced. It's never going to be balanced. Um, we have Capricorn, your energy. We have uh, Aries energy. Um, yeah, because there's deception behind it. The Eight of Cups to the Seven of Swords, Pisces energy, Aquarius energy, um, Cancer energy. Some of you, you could be dealing with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Leo. But you're going to see with walking away from a situation, this deception move, moving away, your money going to grow. And this could be like, even if you don't reside with this person, it's just the energy exchange. Like you, you still think of this person, you still talk to this person. Well, guess what? That energy is still floating around and it's interfering with your progress financially. So some of you big money could be coming in for you if you make this change by letting something or someone go. Okay. And it could be a home. Maybe it's time for you to let this house, this home go. It's time to let the house go, or it's time to let this vehicle go, or it's time to let this person go. Moving on to Aquarius. Aquarius spirit. One, one, one could be significant for you, Aquarius. Show us a message for Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. And which speaks of intuition. It's so funny, I just seen the um, high priestess as well. So, yeah, your intuition is screaming at you. Listen, let's see a message for Aquarius. Aquarius. What is the message for Aquarius this weekend? Please show the Empress. And what else for the uh, Empress? I mean, for this message. Okay, not the Magician in reverse. Hmm. Some of you are realizing like someone someone is manipulating you. It could be a mother, motherly energy. This could be a baby mother, or this could be your own mother, however, or someone else's mother. But you could you you your intuition is trying to tell you like someone is manipulating you. Or this is just you. You like, yeah, I know because this is that. The Empress is that abundant ener energy, like you're very abundant, very creative, that motherly nurturing energy here. Very fertile, okay, um, with, you know, creativity or whatnot. Or you very fertile, period, just a mother. But she's in an upright. This is very good energy. Um, but I feel like uh, you may feel like there's some manipulation going on with someone... Let me get more on a magician in reverse. And that's why you're in a four of cups. Like you're holding back from whoever this is. You're holding back from this person. Or you're not um, taking their offer or something. Because you know, you know, their their intentions aren't genuine or something. Let me see more on a magician. Magician in reverse. Magician in reverse. Yep. Seven of wands. You're standing your ground, protecting your energy, or you being advised to do this. Someone is a manipulator. They they likes to, they likes to play they like to play tricks on you, or you play tricks on them. However, this goes. Someone is a trickster, and someone needs to block this energy. Okay, staying your ground with whoever this is. This could be a child's mother or your own mother or someone's mother. Or and someone's in this energy. Or this is you that needs to block this energy because you're standing in the Empress. Let me get more on the Empress. Show us more on the Empress for Aquarius. 
Ooh, I, this is someone else. This not you. That's why I kept saying this person, you need to block this person off this motherly energy because it came out with the devil. So they could be manipulating someone like they are the empress, but they're really not the empress. This is like a false empress, a false uh, divine kind of her, like a, divi a false divine feminine. <laughs> Let's get more on a devil and the empress. Uh, nine of swords. Yeah, this person bring a lot of stress and anxiety to your life. Yeah, you need to block this person from, from your energy. They're very manipulative. They try to control you however which way they can. Okay? And they, I mean, this person could be doing magic. Dark magic, that is. A black magic, this person. For some, it, that's the case. But for some, they're just manipulative. They, But that's just as dark. Because why are you manipulating this person? Why are they manipulating you, Aquarius? Definitely strong uh, feminine energy here. We got the Queen of Swords here. Your energy is here. Um, show us more on the Queen of Swords. Someone could be a Libra. Show us more on the Queen of Swords. King of Swords. Okay, so you're showing up as a Queen and King. Okay, so you got the your Queen and King here. There's a mother energy here that's manipulative. Take it however. It's not everybody's message. Just take whatever resonates, but this is hitting home for somebody. It's someone's mother or baby mother that's a manipulative evil wench we gonna say that <laughs> can't, say, can't say what i want to say but okay like yeah uh-huh someone is um i feel like they're so discontent with their life they want to make everyone else miserable so this could be like um a mother mother-in-law or this could be a sister or it's like someone, a female energy that is wanting to cause problems in your life secretly because they're not happy. With this, the sun, I mean, the moon here and the um, nine of cups in reverse. They're not happy. This person could be messaging you this weekend. And it's going to have you all up in your head trying to figure out, okay, what should you do? No, don't even dwell on it. Block them. Seven of Wands. Stop talking. Leave them out in the cold. This person trying to have you, trying to have you go bankrupt. This person could be just wanting money from you constantly. Yeah, someone want money from you. That's so funny. Y'all heard my phone, right? Money come, money transaction. And what I just say. So some of you is based on money. Someone could be manipulating you out of money. All right, moving on. Or you're doing this. So moving on to Pisces. 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 All right. Pisces, I'll be live today for Q&As, questions and answers at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. If you want to step on in, you can definitely join the live to get a question and answer. Make sure your notification bell is on. Um, so live, that, I'm bringing back Saturdays and Wednesdays like I used to do in the past. So Saturdays, it'll be at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Wednesdays, it's between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Show us a message for Pisces. And I'll be providing games as well. The more people come in, the more I can do when it comes to games. Um, I know I'm just now getting this back started. So definitely share, you know, and come through. And you have the tower. What about the tower for Pisces? The Ace of Wands. Okay. What I was about to say was, uh, what someone is, mm -mm. let me get more. Show us more for Pisces. Yeah. Pisces, I don't know. Whoever this is, it's all about the sex, baby. It's all about the sex, baby. It's all about you and me. Yeah. Somebody need to be discarded. Because... I it's all about the sex and finances. And I feel like someone is having sex and constantly giving their energy away to someone who's taking it. Like, it's bringing you, it's like it's, it's leaving you spiritually bankrupt. You know, um, this could be a rude awakening that you're going through. Something is being exposed. Maybe that awakening is like, whoa, 
how come I didn't see this before? This person playing me. Or, um, yeah. Or this could be someone in your energy coming to you telling you this. We do have Aries, Scorpio energy here, Pisces. No, uh, Cancer energy here. Pisces wants to come out, so it could be you, Pisces. Um, but it's like they come back. So they, you come back together, reconcile, have good sex. Things are successful. And then here go to secrecy. Show us more on the moon for Pisces. They're working on something. They have a, a hidden agenda. What is this hidden agenda? To do something foolish. So they're irresponsible. Someone is being very irresponsible here. Yeah, I don't know. Someone could be reckless with money. And they may not saying that they don't love you. Because, I mean, they I do see love. Or this is you. You just loving this person? Because, I don't know, this person focus on the passion and his money. Mainly. I mean, that could just be now. Maybe their mind is just on the money. But if your mind on the money, you shouldn't be thinking about the passion. You, you need to be focused. I mean, passion as far as sex. You shouldn't even be thinking about sex. You should just have your mind focused on this money, how you about to get it, how you, what your plan is, and that is that. But someone is like, I guess, because it, I feel like it's a user. There's a user here. Let me see more for Pisces. All right. For some of you, this could be like, if it's not like a, a, part, a sex partner, I mean, it could be for sure. But it could be like a work, someone at work that keep, it's like someone say, hey, can you do this job for me today or whatever? And you say, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And then the next day, hey, you mind doing that job for me again? I got to handle this over here. Sure, I'll do it. And then the next day, can you? And you start looking like, wait a minute now. I said I'll do it the first day. I was being nice the second day. But you keep asking me? No, it's all ain't right. That's that awakening that you need to have. If you're not having it, wake up. This person using you. Okay, it could be as simple as that for some of you. Um, and you're going to realize this and de decide, look, I, I can't do this no more, you know. And then, uh, wow, for some of you, some of you about to get a new job or position or something. For some of you, this is like you coming into connection with the right person as far as love and your, your money is, is going gonna, gonna to balance out. But it's someone else that you need to leave behind because they just a taker. Yeah, and they keep trying to come back and apologize and, hey, can we work on having a family? I want to be back with you. <laughs> no, stay your ground. Set boundaries with whoever this is. Take it however it resonates. Pisces. But that is it. Some of you could have a child or could be pregnant or it could be, or you just got a, uh, someone could have a baby. A baby and children or uh, this could be pertaining to this person. Someone could be a Virgo or a Gemini. A lot of you have new love, a new beginning in love coming in. But you just have to stand your ground with people that's using you or trying to use you or constantly take from you because they know you're very caring, you're loving you, you're supportive. Yeah, and they want to use that and abuse that. Don't allow that. All right, but that's all I have for you all. Thank you so much for tuning in for your weekend message. Don't forget to tune in on Saturdays and Wednesdays for Q&As. Today is Saturday. I'll be live at 2 o'clock p.m. So tap in over there. Hopefully y'all get this before then. <laughs> but um, and many blessings. Until next time.